there's that first glimpse yeah. of Troy Corp. So that's the 1936 supercharged BMW R5. Yes, 1936, it's 82 years old, and he's changing gear with his left hand. It's a solid rear end. So that's why it's bouncing around, the head's just skimming over the top of this Goodwood tarmac yeah. and Corsa after a bad start as you noted Martin, now on a charge coming up behind, I think it's Chris, Charlie Williams. Yeah. Now with that right hand gear shift outside on the tank, I wonder whether he just didn't get a gear and didn't get away because the engine was clearly running and as you say, solid rear end, so no suspension other than the air in the tyre, I mean it must be a frightful thing and he is riding it like an American dirt tracker, you know, he really is hanging off the machine and just trying not to fight it at any stage. He's in seventh at the moment, he's going up to sixth position. Troy Corsa with the alligator, of course, on the side of that crash helmet that he always had when and he was in World Superbike. He won on Ducati, he won then uh, uh, the championship again, and arguably the heyday of the World Superbike Championship in the mid 80s. You know, the Foggies, yeah. the Killies. All hammer and tongs, the uh, the Kaczynskis, uh, good times and with Ducati the, versus Honda. Something the on the racetrack gets hanging, out of the way, yeah. but he's on the charge. Look at the way he's hanging off it. You know, if he's if those cylinder heads oh, aren't chamfered, he will chamfer them anyway. Hanging off that fastest race lap for Troy Corsa, 133.38. The leaders are doing 135. So he's a second and a half quicker <laughs> than the bikes in front. <laughs> now that's amazing. Not sure if that's a little bit of a wooden block or a bit of an oil tank or something, but it doesn't seem to be close to the racing line, which is just as well. Troy Corsa, number 11, now right up behind the number 12 machine, and he is closing in fast. You better be aware of what's coming because it's big and it's fast and it's supercharged. McWilliams comes past our commentary position. He has a lead at the moment of, well, let's wait for the scoring to click through of two seconds and then look at this battle just look at this battle as Corsa comes through to second position an 82 year old motorcycle this is a class this is a race for motorcycles up to 1954 and yet he's on a 36 bike Cream.